Yeah. My respects to you. You know something about... I might have heard something. That depends. A bit of silver... That story about 30 pieces of silver didn't have a happy ending. Well, then it will have to be more than 30. Since it's you... More? Not bad, not... Ginger has two mates. Twins, who are keeping him hidden and taking care of him. Where do they take the food? I don't know. I didn't follow them. That's all you have? If you'd already known that much, you wouldn't be here talking to me. Good luck to you. Good day to you. What? I've taken care of those two cutthroats. 
You don't look like you've been in a fight. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. All right. All... They're dead. Ginger was here, but the lads hid him away somewhere. I suppose there's no need for that anymore. That's right. All right. They're hiding him nearby. Finally, some useful... May the Lord watch over you. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate? Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. I'm looking for your friends. Where the charcoal burners? To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognised one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognised? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I know. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? This is yours, isn't it? That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but... He limps and he's from Ujits. It's all I know. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite... Don't worry. I'm... All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. Then it was too late. They went past and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. Then the slaughtering started. Yes. Yeah. I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. It was terrible. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No. no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside, and I fell on the ground. I, I did what he said and hid. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. What about the others? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them. And That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yell. If you had, you'd most likely be dead. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Uh, perhaps I could. I'd like to go back to the stud farm. They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. Just try, and you'll see whether they drive you away or not. But if you explain it to them, they're sure to understand. I suppose you're right.
Good health to you. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. <sighs> All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. Any chance of some... It all depends on what you're... I'm sure you've noticed the... Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should... We know about one of their encampment. I don't really mind how you deal with them. In any case, bring me the spur. Very well. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. Very well. Well, as for amusement... Good luck to you. Greetings. What business have you? My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? The boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujitz, so I'll ask around. All right. Better go to Ujitz then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Mehoyed, and I'll decide on his fate. Certainly, sir. Why choose Mehoyed? It's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Exactly. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Good luck to you. Good day to you. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. What would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose.
Can we do... Mm. Since it's you... Uh, no. Tough luck. citizens move along there's nothing to see here if that's what you call nothing to see I'd like to know what something to see looks like by the keys of st. Peter this is all I need we'll have to send word to Sir Hanush that might not be necessary who are you I'm Henry of Scalitz in the service of Hanush's captain Bernard I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Who was Limpy Lubosch? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? Mm, none. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. When did you find the body? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. Hey. Judas. Hmm. Looks like this is meant to be a warning. But for who? And why? Maybe the gang had a falling out. But a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. To you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. 
Sir Hannes gives a job like that to a young fellow like you. Well, what do I care? Ask. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home at all. Wait, are you saying he... Oh, Jesus! Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? I didn't see much of him lately. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? I really don't know. That man Lubosch who was murdered, what was he like? He was a strange one. Always drinking, bad-tempered. That's all. Thank you. God be with you. I see you know how to wield a sword, Father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practice with a stick. The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lypa, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems... Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. Did you know Lubosch? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Do you know what Lubosch was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. But Lubosch is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you, I would be betraying a vow. If people believe the saint... Worse than the death of innocent Christians. No one escapes punishment. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhoff raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening, in the tavern, over a cup of good wine. All right. Thank you, Father. Take care now. God be with you. I've come in the... Of course. Do you know anyone? He was alone. That man, Lou. He was a drunk. Have you noticed any... Why well, now... Do you know what Lou... Not a... That's all.
Can we do something of... Sure. Agree? We're getting there. Aye. Good health to you. You up for a throw? We'll see whose side Lady Love is on. Use your head, man. You'll lose everything. Now you. We'll see. That's all.
Ah, that's how dice should roll. Finished. Just what I wanted. Got bellyache, have you? That's nasty. Fuck, a thief! Pour me one. Blessings of our Lord be. And with you, lad, take a seat. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything, but first I'd like to hear something about you, my son. I'm from Scarlet's. Oh, I'm sorry. They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. I'll bring it right away. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. There. God knows why. Satisfied? They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl, even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Townberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovno. My poor child. And how did you come to get this assignment? He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujitz, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyle? The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone. No, you're just making excuses. I'm sorry you see it that way. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Well, Ujit is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. 
and of course describing them in detail. The tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days, and stories from real life with a nice moral to them are popular as well, especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. For me one. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church, the lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison, and nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth, and they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay, and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them, while Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor. Amen. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Who preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor? Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. What do you think of this Jan Hu? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people... Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, for debauchery? No, I don't. Thanks for the sermon, but I think... Oh, what do you suppose? Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Enough of this! Bailiff! Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped, and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men! Throw them out. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. A 
Here we are. Look at this beauty. Uh, oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, <laughs> wench. <laughs> 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 And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> Got him on you old goat. Come here. The priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? <laughs> 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 